Hello and welcome back to Retro Respawn Plays Flashback. Today we're on part three, the Death Tower. Okay, so so far in the story, I've jumped down the big hole with the anti-gravity belt and I've worked my way through New Washington doing various jobs like uh, killing cyborgs and mutants and, dis and uh, sending packages hither and thither in order to earn my passage onto this Death Tower show. From here on, it's a battle to the death for Conrad as he ha and has to uh, earn his uh, ticket to Earth. So let's go. Ah. Watch out, dude. Did I get him? I think I got him. I blew him up with the mine. Totally intended, of course. <clears throat> so this is arranged in eight levels, which you then have to work through, and then I believe you go up the levels. I think it's up or down. Either way, you have to progress in a linear, vertical fashion, and the levels kind of uh, are... Um, some of them go back round on themselves. Didn't really mean to do that. No matter, it's not a problem. I can just run back. And I can. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Recharge my shield. No problem whatsoever. <laughs> okay then. In fact, while we're here, we might as well just go this way. Why not? He didn't get killed by the mine that time. But I got him. Come on, dude. Come and get me. So obviously this was on the Amiga and obviously the Mega Drive and it was ported to the S Super Nintendo as well and uh, it had various little changes particularly in this level. I can't remember what this level was called but they changed the name from Death Tower and they gave Conrad a pink shirt for reasons I don't know. don't know why. But it was in the era when Nintendo were censoring all of their games and localising and all that stuff. Any 90s kid will remember that the, uh, ow, that the Sega Mega Drive was the subversive naughty platform that had the bloody games and the guts and the, and the naughtiness. Mortal Kombat and Night Trap, for instance, where is um, the Nintendo had the more family-friendly image. In actuality, many of those games that I just mentioned, apart from Night Trap, were ported over. Anyway, interestingly enough, Night Trap's on the Switch now, so you know, make of that what you will. Ooh, taking what, tell you what, taking blind leaps into the next screen is uh, dangerous. Right, so if I operate this switch, it opens that door, so I have to go around. See what I mean when I said that the levels are kind of circular? As well, they go up, as you can see. Yeah, never mind. So, like with most levels on this game, they are a bit of an effort. They are a bit of a slog. But, I'll tell you what, while we're here, let's recharge. Thank you. Nice one. Let's go. So then, of course, Conrad has to go around the other side. Right, there you go.
handily avoiding that mine there. And the first level complete with very few in the way of snags. The ominous music that lets you know that something bad is about to happen. <laughs> what are you doing, combat? He's all mad because he can see me, but he can't get me. <clears throat> right, okay. Oh, oh, he's a sly one. Okay, took care of him eventually. I hate it when this happens, you see, because they fall down to that level. They're not actually dead. They're, they're sleeping until you go down there. And then they wake up. Oh, you little so-and-so. Got him now. The mines are my least favorite thing, but they're fairly easy to jump over. They just put them in such awkward places. Oh, a little so and so. Oh, I forgot something. I had my force field, didn't I? Yes, I do. Hey, hey. Safe point. <laughs> Very important, those safe points. I'll get there in a minute. Oh, shit. Ow! What are you playing at? They're all after me now. Okay, so destroying that droid has just opened that door, so I imagine destroying the other one also opens the other door. But first I gotta get this guy. The guy who looks like he's ready for ready for the gym in the nineteen eighties. Looks like he's got a sweat on his head. Gotcha. Come on up you go. He's alright with me. I'm taking my gun out far too early. Gotcha. Wait. <laughs> Save point. I'll have a sip of tea while I wait. Mm. Yummy. Okay. What awaits on the next screen? Who knows? Oh, I need the lift to level 11. Level 7, right? Level 11. Level 7. Making some good progress now. Although I think it would be advisable to avoid this laser field here. Hmm. Let's not go that way for a moment. What's this way? Okay. I imagine that will open that door. Which it did. Nice one. Oh, you idiot. You walked straight into it. What was that about, huh? Okay. Damn. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Oh dear. It's gone terribly wrong now. Okay, so what I need to do is uh, if I get my gun out. See, if you roll with your gun, 
you don't just stand up again at the end of the roll you stay where you are see that is far too oh you idiot dead <laughs> that's all right we saved oh dear what's my shield at one oh man So what I have to do is get up onto that platform without getting shot. I can't help but trigger it, but I need to not get shot by it. Hmm, tricky. Oh, well, hey! It was as simple as that. Never mind. Thank God for those save points, eh? Aha, now this is a trick. This is naughty and tricksy. I know what happens here. That's a trapdoor. Clever me. Told you. Let's see if I'd made a, a move for that charge point. I would have just fallen down. I looked like a right fool. Gotcha. Gotcha, dude. Thank you for disarming that mine for me. Little trap. Of course, now everybody remembers Flashback, but how many remember the sequel? Fade to Black. Available on PC. And... Ooh. And the uh, PlayStation, which I have. I have it. I paid £10 for it. I'm sorry. I know. Um, it's uh, it's pretty abysmal. Although, I must admit... Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted by this dude trying to kill me. Hang on. Oh, get out of it. I must admit, the PC version of Fate, of Fate of Black was was all right. I thought, anyway. The PlayStation version, it, it handles awfully. Controls are all naffed. <laughs> but, um, for a uh, Windows 95 era game on the PC, it was okay, I thought. Right, so duck as soon as you stand up. There we go. Time to save again. And time for another sip of tea. Saved. Let's go. Okay. Now this looks tricky. Oh dear. What to do, what to do. What to do, what to do. That just looks really ill-advised. So does this. I think I'm going to have to die here, folks. I think I'm going to have to die. If only to find out what to do next. Oh! It's okay, everybody. He's okay. Phew. Ah, <laughs> I let go, but we got it. We figured it out. Every level of this game is a test of your ability to uh, use the the jump mechanic. This is tricky, isn't it? Is he alive? Did I kill him? I'm not going back to find out. Oh my god. Oh, oh, he didn't die. Oh, bloody hell. We you put your gun away for you, Burke. Oh my god, this is a mess. Ah! 
I'm gonna get killed in a sec. Hold on. Bloody hell. Roll. Roll, you idiot. Well, that was tense. I've got no shield left either. Shield. I keep forgetting. I have that. I haven't used it yet. It's my fault. Oh dear. Level four. We're almost there. We are halfway, ladies and gentlemen. We are halfway. Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Ah. Okay, I really need not only a save point but a recharge point as well because I am on the bones of my arse here. He enters cautiously with his gun drawn. Oh, bloody hell. Well, there's a recharge point at least. Maybe I'll sneak a quick use of that before they come back for me which I don't think they will I don't think they will till I go down to their level <laughs> yeah right okay I'm not even going to go down there unless I absolutely have to which I think I might so, trigger that laser trap. Imagine that opens up that, that trap door there, which it does. I just heard those dudes. I think they just revived and started uh, whizzing about to. Oh my god, they could be anywhere. Where did they go? You gotta use the run trick here, I think. You should you should leap. No, he didn't. You idiot. Never mind. No matter. Well it's a mystery as to where those guys disappear to. I'm not complaining though. Go. Recharge your shield again. Come on then. Let's go. Only a few more levels to go. I'm sure I'll get uh, thoroughly killed over and over and over again. <laughs> Oops. Did that get me? No, it didn't. <laughs> Upwards and onwards to level three. Oh, dear. Ah! Right, you've really got to start using this thing. Although, if you're letting yourself get in a position where you're being shot by these guys, you're just not doing it right, are you? As I have so ably demonstrated. Gotcha. Come and get me! Hey, these guys are taking more hits to bring down. Oy. So I was talking about the sequel, Fate of Black, anyway. It wasn't a platformer like this. It was a typical uh, polygon uh, in the third person. It was all right, I thought. 
Uh, one of the great things about the PC version is that you could go through all the different uh, resolution options and get the best looking picture that you could. And it had a really cinematic opening. Now you can say what you like about the studios that made these games like Another World fa uh, Flashback Fate of Black and you can say that ultimately it all kind of went wrong with Fate of Black but one thing they could do and do well was uh, the uh, opening movies or cutscenes in general actually they just all looked really great really cinematic and really um, really special for the for the era back at a time where uh, almost every almost every game had a, had an opening cinematic of some kind no no we've already saved All right come on I'll fall off Ooh. yeah there we go I had promised a far more action-packed uh, affair this time around. I have uh, delivered that. Damn it! I forgot really that orb dude is not going to get you whilst you're at ground level. So, so she healed that now. Two. No snacks. Ah. Uh -uh. Menu. Anyway, we're nearly there. Oh, he's waiting for me. He's a tricksy one. Oh, bloody hell. No, no, no. Don't you dare. Let's get down on... Oh, bloody hell, he killed me. I don't believe it. Oops. I saved again by accident, sorry. Whee. It's hard to believe sometimes this was made for the Mega Drive. The movements are so fluid and realistic. People who never really grew up with these kinds of games and these kinds of consoles might be hard pressed to appreciate that this really was something special. Quite a groundbreaking game. Right, will not be an idiot this time. Got him. Right, now that is how that should have transpired in the first place. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I might make videos about games, but... Uh, I'm good at it. Just one droid. One, one uh, android. This uh, feels a bit anticlimactic. More to it than the solution to these guys is roll and shoot all the time. Roll and shoot. We have a winner! Okay, so enjoy this. Uh, you know, I said that cutscenes look good, but this one looks like it's been done on D paint. That's deluxe paint to you. Destination Earth. Okay, so we are off to Earth. Well, I have been Retro Respawn. This has been part three of Retro Respawn Plays Flashback. Enjoy the cutscene, and I shall see you next time. Thanks very much for watching.